I first got into doing drag mainly by mistake. Someone booked me at a party I was DJing at and I went in fancy dress and they presumed that I was a drag queen. I'm not a real woman, honestly. I know you find that hard to believe with some of the ladies that are in tonight, but I'm teasing, I'm teasing. And then um, a couple of weeks before I was due to go to the gig, the lady rang me up just to confirm everything was okay and basically said, you know, dust off your heels. And I'm like, what? And she went, you know, drag. My daily life differs dramatically from my drag life. You wouldn't recognise me at all. I'm usually in a pair of jeans and riding boots, completely different to this. Um, usually down and dirty and, you know, not groomed at all, as it were. But yeah, it's a good life. I am so excited that I could actually wheel a little bit, so I'm glad I've got a tender lady in. Well, last night, actually, a girl came up to me. She just went, you didn't fuck it up. I was like, perfect, clearly a RuPaul fan. What would you like to change about the world if you could? If everyone in the world gave 50 pence of kindness, that's a lot of money, isn't it, to save up? But for actually someone to give it, not in money, just in a little bit of time every day, perfect. Be a better place, wouldn't it? Do me a favour, look up here when you're talking. Did I think I'd be a performer? Um, no. Not at all. I see friends now from school that are pretty much gone down the line that they were going down when they were at school, so they're like either joiners or sparkies or bricklayers and still haven't changed. They're still stuck in that rat run. And I look at what I've done and think, I've done all the boring jobs, you know, the mundane office jobs and care jobs and yeah, no, I love this. And definitely didn't think that I'd be an entertainer.